Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, July 13th in 1863, federal troops occupied Natchez. Three days later, Brigadier General Thomas Ransom filed his official report. I have the honor to report that at 3 p.m. on the 13th, I landed with my command and occupied this city without opposition. The people were completely surprised and hardly realized our design until the place was fully occupied and picketed. Ransom captured 20 rebel officers and soldiers as they were attempting to escape. He established a provost guard and took possession of the post office. Immediately upon their arrival, federal troops dug deep trenches and barricaded the streets with sand-filled hogsheads. The provost marshal summoned the people of Natchez to turn in their arms. For the next two years, federal troops walking and patrolling the streets of Natchez were commonplace. Numerous infantry, artillery, and cavalry units were either stationed in Natchez or passed through on their way to other campaigns and other battlefields. Units from Illinois, Wisconsin, Iowa, Ohio, Missouri, Kansas, and New Hampshire were stationed in Natchez, and these units served alongside those locally recruited companies of recently freed African Americans who now comprised the ranks of the 58th, 70th, and 71st U.S. Colored Infantry and the 6th Colored Heavy Artillery. For federal troops who had survived the Siege of Vicksburg and were now posted to Natchez, their new assignment proved to be a most welcome reprieve. According to one soldier, the fresh air and the good water, along with the vegetable market of Natchez, wrought wonders among the sick men. I'm Carol LeMay, a Natchez pilgrimage tour guide, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.